How to build a triple flip-flop. I need a flip-flop that takes input from a single source. I need it to have three states three cycle instead of the usual two. I want an output on every third input, but not on the other two. It is easy to make a simple flip-flop with two states, but I did not find any mentioning of more states. This circuit can be used to get an output every 1, 2, 3, up to 320 inputs, depending on how many items you put into the dropper. The dropper points into the hopper and the hopper into the dropper. Here is a structure file, https colon slash slash drive dot google dot com slash file slash d slash one four seven one iq five prcbcpdf polyoxy three gfx vwt three t. This circuit is actually much more complex than it looks. When you press the button, the comparator receives a signal strength of 15 from the button, which is higher than whatever it gets from measuring the dropper, so its effective input signal strength is 15. Note that this might change in the next snapshot, because this report is marked as fixed in 20w11a, even though I am pretty sure that it reports an intended game mechanic. I don't know how it's supposed to be fixed in the next snapshot. The input signal strength of 15 is equal to the side signal strength of 15, which means that the comparator turns on its output. That turns off the redstone torch and redstone wire in the bottom of the picture. The button also activates the dropper, which drops one item into the hopper. The comparator also turns on the redstone dust in the top of the picture and the repeater, which locks the hopper. When the button turns off, the comparator outputs a power level of at most 8, which is still enough to lock the hopper, so the item that got dropped into it does not get pushed back. When you press the button a second time, the comparator shortly outputs a signal strength of 15, then goes back to whatever it measures from the dropper. Not much happens in the rest of the circuit. When you have pressed the button as many times as there were items in the dropper, the comparator shortly outputs a signal strength of 15, then 0. That turns on the redstone torch and bottom redstone wire and turns off the top redstone wire and repeater. The hopper gets unlocked and pushes back all its items into the dropper. The comparator does not activate from that, because the comparator still gets a side input signal of strength 15. That way, the circuit is back to the state in the screenshot. You can take an output signal from any component of this circuit except the button and invert and or shorten it, if you need that. This circuit has a size of 4 times 2 times 3, not counting the button, which can be any input or a button on the side of the block. In theory you should be able to remove the column with the repeater and button, move the right column one to the left and put the button on the dropper, but for some reason the comparator does not receive the signal from the button. That is probably a bug, but I will wait until 20w11a is out before I report it. You need two redstone, one repeater, one comparator, one redstone torch, one dropper, one hopper and seven blocks, of which the higher three need to be solid, the other just need to have a solid top surface. You also need items inside the dropper. The button can be replaced with any input downwards, upwards or from the one remaining side into the block, as long as it powers the dropper and comparator from there. Any input length should work, but if you use only one item in the dropper which would make the circuit useless, but do whatever you like and toggle the input very fast many times, the redstone torch can burn out. That should only delay putting back the items from the hopper to the dropper, but if you give more inputs into the circuit in the meantime, that might break something, if you depend a lot on outputting on every input. The delay from input to output is one tick, if you take an output from the block on the right or the redstone wire on top.